buyer's remorse. <laughs> Hi, and welcome to TFLP Micromaster, or Microcasters, Micromasters, Casters, whatever. TFLP Microcasters. Um, Did you so, know it was a reference? Ha ha. Yes, yes, there, there you go. So, Surprise. Yeah, yeah, there, there we are. So, uh, yes, Tenth it is. Months it on, is, you reveal the Easter egg. It is, uh. It's it's Tuesday, October eighth, and uh, so tonight uh, we have a, a couple more repaints because apparently yeah. that's the stage we're in for Siege is is just repaints, repaints, repaints. Look, man, in like three weeks we're gonna have Ape Face, and everything in my life is gonna change because of that. So we'll we'll do that then. Wait, how's it gonna be three weeks? Oh no, it's like time, right? Whatever. Is it in yeah. December? Maybe it's in not... December. Maybe it's in like six weeks. I don't know. It's coming. Well, technically, the, I think the street date's going to be January. So if you have a bad boy pre-ordered from uh, Hasbro Pulse, then, I mean, I, I guess if you see it at a Target or something. <sighs> Fine. But so, get that. I mean, Kill the... my dream. Hideous Clear Mirage is coming soon. You mean mm. your new favorite figure's coming? That'll be next week. Yes, my new, my new um, necklace. Yes, guys. Anna's going to love this figure so much that she's going to wear it as a necklace, just around, like, out in her normal life. It's going to be awesome. No, just, I'm just going to go to class, just sporting my giant blue car thing. Yeah, you totally should. She's going to love it that much. I'm almost too shy to wear my Pokeball earrings to class. I think I might be too shy to wear it. You'll be like the Flava Flava Transformers fans. It'll be great. Yeah. It's, Terrible. And you can wear you can wear it at TFCon. You could definitely good. wear it at TFCon. I don't even feel like I'd be weird wearing it at TFCon. It wouldn't. That's why you could do it. Now I haven't been able to find the video on Facebook. Um, I mean the video is on Facebook, so it's, it's live. Are it's, we sharing it? Okay. Yep. It's on tftalk.net, and it uh, All right, I cool. it to TFLP. Yeah, it's just not appearing for me. Weird. Mm. It's always appeared before. It's appearing for Randall, so. Good, up, good. Randall? I usually watch it so I can see the comments, but not tonight. Yeah, comments. I don't know. You might refresh it. I'd... I have refreshed Facebook like six times. Um, I don't know. I mean, I see it on. Are Are you at here? Let, let me check. As I say, I had it. It was up before. It says it's live. Well, maybe that's us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I found one. Okay. Because it's a found... stupid looking thing. Okay. I found it. I found it. I see the dumb looking sound wave in vehicle mode. Glorious. There, there you go. So, um, yeah. Oh, I was gonna, I was gonna say, uh, Christian too. The other problem is, is that uh, Target is like street dating all their stuff now. So even though it's technically not street dated, um, like I know people have not been able to buy any Voyager figures lately because it's street dated. I, I think the street dates actually passed. I think it was like. For this last wave, I think what isn't it the sixth? I think I think it was a Sunday. Yes. Yeah, I think we're good. So yeah, so you're good it's now. It's still but, annoying. It's been happening all year. It's the stuff. But what I'm saying is the same thing's gonna happen, you know, in, in January. So you're you're not getting your eight face until January. I'm calling it right now. Fine. Well, we'll whenever that happens, my life will change, and eight face will be amazing, and we'll review it. Got it. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, we'll get all a right. review Impactor before that, and Mirage. That's true. So for uh, tonight, specifically, <laughs> no, no we're actually that. gonna do uh, Chromar and Sound Blaster. So new sound wave. Oh, good! So, you guys both have them in the bad mode, so I don't have to. You don't want to. Fun do fact: Totally have not transformed this thing ever. You, you don't want to. Don't know that I will. <laughs> a live transformation, live on air. So. Uh, the vehicle mode oh, is... Here's our live transformation. <laughs> Done. Wow. 
so so the vehicle mode is exactly like uh, sound waves. So, um, so Randall, the target uh, issue, it seemed like it started popping up in um, over the summer. summer. Whenever the Galaxy yeah. Prime came out, um, and then also uh, there was some other figures. What was it? Um, Springer, I think, was one of them. Super. I think so. the, um, is it Super Seven? Who was the one that did those um, the Thundercats figures, but then also the um, the Strange or Savage World figures, like with the Batman stuff? I can't mm. remember who's did. Anyway, anyway, there, I, I've had <laughs> the issue not, not just on Transformers. Like it's happened on other stuff for me too, and it's super annoying. Like I don't know, it just frustrates me. Like it, that stuff is on the shelf, and I put it in my cart, and I walk it all the way up there, and then they're like, "Nope, sorry, can't buy this," and then they go put it back on the shelf. Like I don't know, it's frustrating. That's a bad practice. It doesn't make any sense. Right. So, I mean, I wouldn't really care if they're putting it and leaving it in the back, but it, it's annoying sure. when, you know, it's like, you, you think you're going to buy it, then nope. Yeah. So, do we want to talk about New Sound Wave first? Is the one it, is the, the Savage World stuff, so. Thanks, Randall. Uh-huh. Um, so, so, the one thing that I will uh, say about the vehicle mode that I really enjoyed um, is that on my... Uh, sound wave figure like these little whatever things kept popping off like really easily and i don't know if that happened on your on your guys's figure but they are not popping off on sound blaster so i'm excited about that what's popping off the the little whatever thruster things oh these guys yeah 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 like did those pop off on your sound wave i don't think so okay well maybe it's just my copy Maybe, maybe one of them. Yeah, one of them. Like one of them was would continually pop off. So, so but. I still really like the concept of this vehicle mode because you know if Soundwave can't be a tape deck all the time and be stationary. Why not be like a dropship where you can bloop drop out all his dudes? I think that makes a lot of sense as a concept as like a <clears throat> battlefield like innovation. I think that's good. But unfortunately, it just still looks not that great. Like, conceptually, awesome. Execution, eh, it's a brick. Yeah, it doesn't really look like very much. I know we were kind of talking about this, that, like, I mean, and the, like, you know, we got the Tetra Jets, too, and those look a little bit better. But I, I kind of feel like these vehicle modes in general of, uh, you know, the Decepticons just aren't that exciting. They haven't been so well, far. Wheels is probably the exception, but he's got Earth modes, so. Yeah. Sorry, who'd you say? Now, Flywheels. Oh well, yeah, yeah, but that was that was Amaji in the G1, I feel like. But our next two figures, both Ape Face and Astro Train, actually seem to look fine in alt mode. Yeah. They do. And Spinister. They're, they're okay. Oh, Spinister looks good in alt mode, too. Yeah, well, Sp- yeah, Spinister is going to be, like, the star of the wave. Spinister is going to be on top of my Christmas tree. Mm. It's so beautiful. But yeah, I, I can, I'm, I'm totally cool with this, like, as a concept. But unfortunately, like everyone just said, it, it transforms into nothing, basically. I mean, they, they have a really good bot mode. They rearrange those parts into something that looks like something. Oh, single reflectors. Those have a good alt mode. The gun that you equip on your <laughs> tiny oh, class yeah. figures. They're, they're I never okay. put them in that mode. I d- made them go to camera mode and that was it. <laughs> yeah, I only they're, have one of the purple ones, so. They're okay. Yeah, they, but, they do better than the other ones, just because you can pretend it's a gun. And then barricade, I guess, because he's a... Oh, mode. right. Repaint a prowl. Yeah, no, Soundwave's alt mode, like, it's honestly, I will transform them once because I don't want to own a transformer and not transform it, but, like, normally when we're doing reviews like this, I will rush home and I will, like, make sure that I've at least transformed the figure once before we review it, but this one I just, I can't even bring myself to care that much about transforming it. 
it does have some good detailing in this mode, though. We should mention that. It's got really good painted panels here. Uh, these vents are outlined in a really cool red <laughs> color, which is great. So it helps it look like you know, less than nothing. There's still nothing in the front. I think that's not great. But the sides are painted because of the front of the legs in bot mode. This could definitely use some paint. The color scheme is great in general. The color this scheme is great thing. in general. Love it. Yeah, it's very vibrant. Like, it's somehow a vibrant and bright black. It's not a boring black. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's very glossy. It's neon black. It is neon black. But it's got, like, nice silver details. And black and red always look great together. Right. Yeah, I mean, Best I still think, though... Savannah. Like the the fall of Cybertron uh, mold, like there was a van. I think I think that was a lot better. And it seems like in general that you know Soundwave Sound Blaster is um, is a uh, is a van now. Like in a lot of the other fiction, like I, I know in Cyberverse he is. Um, I think in R.I.D. I believe he was as well. Like so, I can't remember animated. I think he was a van, right? So it's, it yeah. seems like Soundwave that. Like, that's kind of his mode now is. And we've been talking in prep for the show for the past couple of days. And I really do believe that they'll remold this figure into a van. I think they'll keep the chest. They'll keep the tape door. Cause that's a good ecosystem they've made with only two cassettes so far or four in the next wave. Um, so I think they'll remold it and make it, the limbs transform around it into a van or a something else. Yeah, I don't think they'll abandon this tape size just yet. So I'm curious, like if we if we did something like, say if they did blaster, and uh, you know, because we still need a blaster, and uh, and then they did like Soundwave again, but they made them leaders. But then the uh, the leader thing was is that they just threw a bunch of tapes in. Would you be excited sure. about that? Yeah. Oh, that's yeah, fine. Give them to me. Oh, Twin Cast would be a good one too. Yeah, I Twin forgot cast, about Twin Cast. So, yeah, no, I, Randall, I agree with you there. Yeah, Twincast is probably my favorite color scheme of all of the tape players, even though it's basically Soundwave's color scheme. It's, yeah, but yeah. it's like a bright blue. Bright, yeah, don't, don't question it. No, it's a little ridiculously colored. It's not as ridiculously colored as this figure, though. This figure is very bright and vibrant. I, I would really like to know where the orange came from. Yes. Well, yeah. I mean, I would like to thank the person who brought the origin. It's awesome, but like, why? (laughs) I guess I shouldn't question if I like it, but it's a weird choice. So orange, though. I did. It's like so. Here is on his legs. There's this little bit of pseudo gold, like it's kind of a mustard color. That you can definitely tell that's supposed to evoke gold. It's still a little orangish. But then this orange on the chest is just unmistakably a pretty metallic orange. Yeah, I, I don't know if, like, door, I mean, because the, the uh, G1 Sound Blaster was, had gold. Red. So. Cool. Well, it was, a red, it was a red tape deck, but then it was outlined in gold. Yeah. So None of that is orange. Right. No, it's not orange. So, I don't know. I mean, I'm... I think it looks cool though. Like I, I like. It looks amazing, especially like, for this time of year. I love spooky. Right, it's so close to Halloween. It's perfect. Yeah. Like, do you think that this is like if they would have done it just in gold instead of orange? I don't think it would have looked as good. I think it's still like, look good, but it wouldn't look as fun. Right. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm orange, saying. It, it means it's amazing. amazing. It's fun this way. Like, it makes me. I don't honestly like this figure enough to keep it, but I love orange things, so I will probably keep it anyway. I mean, Is this going to so, be I mean, Anna's new MO where you just like start flipping all your figures locally? Like after you get done with reviewing them, you're like, all right, enough of this. I didn't even open. I mean, it, is, um, it is so neon. So bright. It's so great. It's got like neon orange, and of course, we mentioned neon black earlier, which is. An oxymoron, almost. Pretty and the red figure. is nice. It's a the very red nice red. red. And that gold yeah. mustard color you mentioned earlier is used very well. Yeah, it's fine. So he's actually got more paint colors on him than you'd expect. 
And um, yeah, it just came out really nice looking. So, you know, I think we talked, did we talk about, we've never talked about the sound wave figure, right? Did we On the not? show? I thought we did. Did we? Oh. Okay, sure. I don't so know. So we talked about transformation, how it was junk. Uh, the, what? Transformation is easy though, right? Uh, I'm doing it right now. It's pretty easy. Christian did his super cash while we weren't even looking. Yeah, sorry. No, he that's good. Have, he, did. he does have a new tape door, though, where he supposedly can fit two tapes inside. I have not tried that yet. You guys? So, so I have, and um, I almost got my fate, my stuff stuck in there. Uh, so not quite two it's tapes. Pretty, it's pretty. No, you can. So the trouble is, is like when this tape door here. I'll show you. Like when you're sticking in one of the tapes, like it is a very tight fit. So, like, when you're putting it in here, hopefully I can get it out now. When you're putting it in there, it just is, like, makes it really hard to get out. So, like, you don't have this problem with Soundwave, obviously, because it's just the, you know, it's just the one. So, so, since you're, like, trying to put it in here in this top, oh, like, it, you kind of have to it's stuck in the, it the door part. Got right. It. Yeah. So, I mean, you can get it out okay, but it's, yeah. So when you get him in a bot mode, would you send him side by side with blue sound wave? Yep. For me. So I can see the size of the tape deck. Yes. Cause okay, so I really I get it. People like the double tape deck. And the double tape deck is like tradition. You can hold another tape and that's cool and all. But I really feel like it just messed with his proportions. Mm. You guys don't, want, don't dislike it, but I do. I, I think it's cool. Right. Like, I, I just, it, it's something that differentiates them. And again, like, I think it just makes it look funky and a crazy original or whatever. Like, I, I'm not saying it necessarily looks good. I'm just saying, that, like, I think it looks cool. But it makes it different. Together. Yeah, exactly. It's not terrible. It just, it to me, it throws off an otherwise blocky robot sound wave silhouette just with a thicker tape door. I don't mind it. I'm looking at him head on. I mean, I guess if I looked at him from the side a lot, I might get annoyed about it, but no, it's great though. If, right, if it doesn't bother you. Or I guess for you guys, since I guess you're watching live, but here's the, and then stack them chest to chest. I'll make them do a tape deck kiss. <laughs> oh, jeez. They can't. His chest is too thick. Yeah. No, the tape decks are kissing. Oh. Um. Yeah. Yeah, it is a lot bigger. It's oh, yeah. Twice no, as big, it's, I would it's think. garishly big. But. Yeah, it is. I think that's cool. Like, I like it. I, like, I think that it really sets it apart. And I mean, it almost, again, it homages the original, you know, G1. Like this thing had a massive tape tape deck on the front, so right. It's like, why not? Yeah, I get it. I totally get it, and I get why you guys are cool with it. I just, I mean, this is my only version of this figure, right? Like, I did not buy the blue version. I had no interest in it. Because I don't like it enough. I just bought the black version the second I saw the orange. It was like, I wasn't going to get it. I had no interest. I was going to get some luster somewhere else. And then it was like, holy crap, that's orange. I bought it. It's this way uh, I do things. I just, I, I just realized that uh, we forgot to show off the uh, lamppost mode, right? <laughs> I'm not gonna, I'm not going to do that. I still don't know what this gun is for. It's for putting it in his chest if you don't have any sets. Yes. See? That's nice. Um, like, it articulates and folds in half. It's like, cool, I guess. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do with this. Yeah. I just put it away. I don't know. For some reason, I was thinking that somebody <laughs> put that gun with, like, Megatron, maybe. I don't know. Sure. I think someone made a big hammer out of Smashdown with it. Yeah, nice. you could maybe do that, too. And I'll hand it to Magnus or something. Right. 
Yeah, yeah there you go. Do. There you go. Now you have like two gun thingies that you can probably put together. Okay. Oh, yeah, that'd be yeah, Randall, back Randall barrel. This is for Megatron to give him the back barrel. I. That's what, what? I. If oh. I remember well, I've got two. So, so it's like third party style where you get an add on. It'll be great. <laughs> so. Oh, by the okay, way. Okay, that makes sense. Um, so I, we were talking about getting some of that matrix workshop stuff, you know, for like upgrades. Yeah. And yeah. I, I was kind of, uh, looking on uh, TFW and it seems like some people are having some issues with the plastic quality on those. Oh, like okay. Breaking it, breaking and stuff. So I don't know. It may not be widespread. I don't know. I don't have any of that stuff myself. Um, but I just figured I would mention it to you before. I, I have not taken the plunge on any of those just because it is somewhat expensive. Like, because uh, I think each of the things are like 15 bucks or something like that. And um, I don't know. I I usually like to order a lot of up, uh, upgrades from like non-F uh, just because his stuff's usually pretty cheap and it's, you know, pretty like the plastic is decent. So. Well, thanks for the warning. I usually get my stuff from no in like one day since he's near me. I'm uh, I'm really disappointed too that uh, that uh, that other guy. What was the name again? That it was doing parts. Like quit doing it. Seemed like for Transformers. Uh, Deep Space Arsenal. Like oh it, yeah, he hasn't been doing as much stuff lately, which is kind of annoying. You know, Deep Space Arsenal. Yeah. Yep. Oh, so, yeah. um, just anyway, like, the deco is really, really nice. Like, it's just, like, really well painted. It's got good detail. It looks really cool. Robot. The colors all play together super well. It's appropriate, since given who we're talking about. Right. It's perfect. I just said the deco is nice. I like the colors. It goes together well. We've already said it once, but I want to say in robot mode it's even better. And um, the, the light piping on the head is like it's hard to get it not to light pipe like it's like his eyes are always glowing which is super cool yeah uh, sound wave is my the light. Way. so bright wish my super eyes would look like that so i mean the thing is is like this, this guy has the same amount of paint as sound wave does but sound wave is like black and blue and so it kind of like blends in together uh a little bit whereas like this guy is just you know, the, the red really pops on the black. Yeah, it's really nice. Works out really well. Yeah. So, yeah, for this figure, um, I think it's pretty. That is my thoughts on this figure. The articulation is okay. I do think that I want... I think at this point I do want Voyagers to have a swivel. I'm a little disappointed in the wrists on this guy not swiveling and the fact that the, he has the gaps... But, you know, this is me having my little complaints. It's not huge. Still better than other toys we've received in the most recent lines. No, I, you know, I do agree. And, and I think, like, um, <coughs> uh, Springer is, is one where, uh, like, he's just had so many extra parts and, and stuff to where, like, covering up the gaps and, you know, allowing to have wrist swivel and all that. And then they figured it out with Optimus. But then, like, you have these other figures, like, and, uh, you know, Starscream did too. But then you have, like, Megatron and Soundwave where it does that same transformation where you just pop the uh, the hand out. And so then they don't end up having, having wrist swivel. And, and like you said, I mean, on a $30 figure, you're kind of like, hey. Right. I think it wouldn't bother me as much if Sprayer and Optimus weren't like almost gapless and have their like better articulation. And Grapple's going to be the same way for the next uh, for Earthrise. Uh, he's got some gaps. He he he. It's the exact same out. thing. It's the exact same thing where he's his hand pulls out like that's the transformation. So. Oh yeah. But he's definitely got hollow to him. But it's okay. Like, I mean, it's still a neat looking figure. It definitely looks like Soundwave, Sound Blaster, New Soundwave, whatever you want to call them. Definitely looks the part. Yeah. So, what's our recommendation on this particular guy? Would you say, you know, buy him? Don't buy him? What do you say, Anna? 
I would say probably no for the most part, unless you really want to have this color scheme. Like, not everyone is going to think this color scheme is phenomenal like I do. I think it's phenomenal. I think it's worth owning a figure that I don't love as much just to have the color scheme. Otherwise, I would say, you know, it has a bad transformation and some hollowness. I can't really recommend it as much. I'm bringing out the uh, Fall of Cybertron version. I think it's definitely better than that one, just in the arms alone. Yes. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, I, I think that, uh, I mean, I don't know. I guess it kind of depends on whether or not you need a sound blaster in your collection. I think it's yeah. a really no- neat looking figure, though. Yeah, um, I think it's great. So, uh, you know, for me, I would say that he's he's a buy but you know you know me so the yeah, colors are still great. find him he's yeah a buy. yeah the color the colors are cool and and so I'm, I'm curious with the sound blaster guy so he um so walmart had him up for you know the night of the thousand pre-orders right but is he actually available now not like, that i've seen lately Hunter. so yeah and the, and the one thing I think is somewhat annoying, because I, I know um, uh, someone on the page today was talking about they're from the UK, and he wasn't aware of them getting uh, this figure at all, which is super annoying. Right. So it's like, you know, some of those figures, like the Entertainment Earth uh, exclusives, like all those are going up on polls and whatever, and it seems like those are pretty widely available. Um, but then you, you have guys like this where uh, that are the store exclusives where it's like, you know, people from other countries may not be getting it. Hasn't been that way in a long time, but it did used to be that way. Right. Yeah. Store exclusives are like back again. They were, they were gone for quite some time for us. Yeah. There's so many now. So many. So many. Like yeah. half the line store exclusives. So weird. Well, I, I mean, it is weird. I, I would think, though, that, like, it, it has to be that they're doing well, though, because, you know, they're not going to do exclusives for a line that is not selling. So oh, yeah. I, I would assume that's probably re- a part like because to me, I feel like the last store exclusives that they kind of had was those G2 uh, Combiner Wars sets. Right. I mean, that were like pervasive. And it seemed like those things just did not sell well at all. And so that's why I think it probably burnt yeah. everybody out for a while. And those were the, the fan channel ones. Like, when's the last time we had, like, a real Walmart Atari exclusive? I think it's Dark of the Moon. Someone will come in and tell me I'm wrong about that. but No, I think Target has had other exclusives. I don't think Walmart's done too many exclusives at all. Like, I mean, they're doing those G1 figures now. But it seemed like... For Target, had that. Time, Target had that... Target had that... Bumblebee movie, Soundwave. Yeah, they've had a lot of stuff. The you know, one in the restaurant last packaging. year, but like between 2011 oh, and like yeah. last uh, year, there's a big shoot, gap. I don't know. Anyway, that's all I'm saying. It was a big gap. It was a large gap in store exclusives, so we didn't have to worry about worldwide distribution. And now we do again. Right. So on to the next red, black, and silver figure. Yeah, there, there we go. Like a vast predatory bird. So Christian actually has an attempted at alt mode, trying to make yeah, it more like a power dasher. Yeah, what you was your alt? Do you have your alt mode, Anna? No, I currently have him in battle mech mode. Hmm. There you go. All right. So this is my jet mode for it because I didn't like him as a helicopter. Uh, Anna actually sent us a picture in our group chat talking about this show uh, earlier today, and it was better than mine, I think. First, kind of put these fans on the bottom. It's more compact. I liked it. Mine is kind of, mine's kind of iffy. Had to use the fists to hold on to bits of himself so that he could make it work. The problem is that the upper and lower body components are weirdly shaped, and they don't have pegs or holes in the right places to make this part fall in line with this part. But I did my best. Yeah, because. Lucas, is yours in the default configuration right now? I think so. Is this the default configuration? Maybe. 
<laughs> sorry, sorry, Christian. I forget that you like. Yes. Can't see my other. Yeah. Yes, or at least close enough. Yeah. That's like a helicoptery drone thing to me. And for the jet power dasher, and by the way, this is Chromar. I haven't said that yet. Uh, yeah, we haven't it's said it's Chromar. Yeah, I just yeah. said black, red, and silver for figure. For audio listeners, I, I forget. It's like, oh yeah. It's Chromar. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Yeah. Gonna, yeah. Yeah, it says Generation Selects Chromar. What's the, uh, was there a different name for the Power Dasher or whatever, too? I was thinking it was a different name, but I can't remember. Jet Dasher? Was it, was it Chromar? It's Chromar. Was it Chromar? Okay. What's his different name? What are you talking about? The original, like, the, the G1 one. Was it Chromar? Power Dasher. Okay. Yeah, it's just... It just Power Unless Dasher. you're in France. Unless you're in France and have Diaclone in France. That's where these names come from, by the way. All three of them, that's what they are. They were wow. all Power Dasher back then. Power Dasher. Well, now they have names and goofy faces, yeah, and it's great. So what I want to say about this figure is that it comes from a good figure, right? Because on, like, Soundwave, I've always liked Six Gun. <laughs> yeah, Six Gun is great. Probably my favorite of the, uh, the weaponizer. So a repaint of Six Gun is welcome. Yeah, six skins fine. So this version is cool. Yeah, I, and I, I really, like... really love. I was just gonna say I love the stuff you can do with it. Like make a battle mech mode. I mean, how many of my transformers do I get to repurpose as battle mechs? It's super fun. I don't know, every star screen. <laughs> so I always have no. to have a gear walk mode. So. I, the previous run of weaponizers, like the actual city guys, I wanted to have them in their default configuration because I'm like, okay, that's how they look, so they should look this way. The uh -huh. Power Dashers have given me a really good chance to actually experience what the weaponizer gimmick can do, and I love it. it yeah, it took, me for, it took me forever to start playing with these things. It was when Brock came out, I was like, I'm going to finally play with these, and I actually like, take them apart and mess with them. And they're super fun. I feel bad for missing it before now. That's a fun mech mode. He looks like a Diaclone mech. Which makes yeah, sense. Yeah, I think he came up more about dude. more Diaclone than Battletech, which makes sense since he's a Transformers figure. So so the one thing I think it's funny about uh, these weaponizer guys is we have not heard a lot of people complaining about them being parts formers. You know, and mm -hmm. as much as, as Transformer fans love to complain, I, I'm I'm somewhat surprised. I, I think it's like it, the gimmick is just so good that people aren't complaining about it. Yeah, they literally made parts forming into something respectable, right? Like you can't you can say, oh, they're parts formers. It's like, yeah, but every one of their limbs makes an accessory you can put on your other guys or allows you to rebuild it. So it's OK. Yep. It's a neat approach to it. Absolutely. Yeah, maybe it's going to desensitize us to parts forming, and then the <laughs> next line is just going to be parts form, parts form, parts form. Well, yeah, the next line the weaponizers are MicroMaster bases, so yeah, they're yeah, and also for a while. still fun accessories. Like there's still guns and stuff as well still as bases. Guns. They're guns, they're bases, they're dudes. It's amazing. But see, that's going to be amazing though, because then you can make all these different configuration of bases. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> he does have a crazy clown head. Yeah. I just I don't feel like transforming my back to robot mode. I'm just showing his head in the back of his. That is definitely the most unique feature of this figure is, is that like crazy, crazy head. And same with Zetar, he had a crazy head. Yeah. Sort of drill face. I think Aragon yeah, is kind of, kind of weird too. Right? I was say, here's, here's Zadar, Zetar is like, so, yeah. Yeah, no, it is, it is a goofy, goofy face he has, and it's fine. It, to me, it evokes like, it evokes like, um to me, Psykill. Like, it just reminds me of cartoon Psykill. Mm. 
it's not exactly like his face, but it's like like they could be brothers or cousins. It looks like the Rogun from GoBots to me. Yeah, the one that was like an actual squirt gun or cap gun or both. It looks like it should be a GoBot head. Yeah. But you mean they're power dashers, which is kind of like going, dashing, going, synonym. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so they're GoBots. <laughs> Everything is GoBots. How amazing would that be? The, ne the next line of Transformers, they just do a line of GoBots. It'll never work. I would, but. I would finally buy an entire retail line. It, it would be, yeah, exactly. Like, people like us, like, we would buy it all, but everyone else would be just like, this is so stupid. Like, who are these people? Ugh. Right. Combiner Wars Puzzler, please. I would buy I kind of want to go back and find an original Puzzler. Anyway. You should. You should. It's fun. Yep. It's a fun figure. That's what TF So, this for. guy. Um, you know, the thing about this guy is that, you know, we talked about him pretty thoroughly. We talked about Six Gun, right? I think we talked yeah, about we Six did. Gun. Yes, okay. we did. So, yeah, my feelings about it are the same. Like, the alt mode, the default alt mode is kind of meh. But if you can't find an alt mode you like by playing Lego with it, I don't see how you could not. Because, you know, Christian came up with that. I came up with my Galaga looking ship that I'll share in a picture later. And then I also made my freaking battle Mac. Like, yeah, even though I have an alt mode and eater. Find a good alt mode. Yeah, really. It's just a fun thing to play with. I think six guns alt mode worked as six gun for me. Cause I was like, Oh, he's like a city attendant. So he should make like a, a helicopter thing that could just choo, 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 go all over Metroplex and fix things or whatever, transport. But these guys aren't attached to city guys. They're just the power dashers. So I think uh, being reconfigurable is good for them. Yeah, I think so too. It's a, it's it a more fun nice. gimmick than their original gimmick being simple. Yep. Well, and, and I think Plus, these again, guys... Power like... dashers are back. I mean, that's, that's still just... So incredible to me. I never thought we would get power dashers. Here they are. It's awesome. Right. I sure would have thought we got Omnibots first. Like, we'll probably get it the next please. one. I don't know. Yeah. Wheeljack kind of looks I, like I downshift. We're going to get Omnibots. Like, um, but, uh, but yeah, no, it's crazy that we got power dashers. Like, and I mean, I, I just think it was a fantastic, uh, you know, imagining of, of these molds, uh, you know, that they did. Um, yeah, yeah, so in a world where we understand Hasbro. that they have to repaint just about everything at some point so they can recoup the cost of the mold. Um, what great repaints these are. Yep. Oh, yeah. But then they have to They're super the, fun. Third, the, the third one in, a, you know, a three pack that. Yeah, he'll be here next week, by the way. Yeah. Oh, there, there we go. That is terrible. So I, over I the do... course of six weeks, we'll have like all new power dashers. It's just wild. It is cool, but I do want to complain about the three pack. I really don't like it. I just My... I don't like that you got to buy your two separately. I think having the well, two I guess pack you... of the fan vote guys made sense. And then throwing Argon in there is kind of like, hmm, really, did you have to do that? <laughs> I think really yeah. the only thing that I, I, I don't necessarily like that version of Mirage. Um, and then like this uh, uh, guy here, uh, Impactor, the, it, the new, the three pack version just isn't that different, you know? So I don't know. I, I probably shouldn't I have gotten the retail ones that, I think that version of Impactor has the cooler looking head. I think it came out better because I uh, think I'm the sorry, head's a what? little funky looking. Do you like the 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 one from Amazon or or this one, the retail one? The the three pack one. I yes, at least oh, absolutely. In photos so far that head looks neater. That one's head, it's just like something about his jaw just didn't sculpt very well, and like it kind of makes his mouth look strange. Yeah, no, I I, I t totally agree. I think that the uh, Amazon three pack is the one to get. So 
I, I think that from that standpoint, at least we're getting the better version of that. And so then people can just skip the retail version of it. Uh, unless you're, doing. unless you're like crazy and decide that yeah, you you'll want get to get them all, you know, so Yeah, it's neat, though. This guy game. is... Yeah, this guy get is it. definite. But yeah, I think that, that guy is neat. I mean, he gives you t- a ton of extra guns, like, you know, which is neat, too, um, that you can just stack extra weapons on, on top of the other, uh, you know, the other guys, Ironhide and, you know, whoever else. So I think that, that from that standpoint, that's neat. So Yeah, this guy's still in holes, so you can still get them. Yep, and he color matches Ironhide well, like we just mentioned, or he color matches G2 Sideswipe pretty well. Wait, is he still available in Pulse? Should be. Uh, okay, I, I didn't actually check that statement before I said it out loud. I just remembered that I told someone that Smokescreen was still available in Pulse earlier today, which is accurate. Well, Chrome no longer? was uh, Entertainment Earth exclusive too, right? Right. Yeah. And so... Um, yeah, so you can get it on Entertainment Earth if you if it's sold out at Hazard. I think Big Bad Toy Store has it too. So yeah, but most okay. most normal fan channels have them. There's options. You can yeah, get exactly. those, and if you like you it, get go. it. Yeah, yeah. If you don't have six gun, for God's sakes, get yeah, this. Yeah. So I'm curious with those guys. Um, you know, with the with the selects guys in general. Um, like I didn't um, Star Convoy. I did not pre-order from Pulse, right? When he comes in, I'm curious if they're actually going to have, like, extras or if I just have to go to Big Bad for it. If you change your mind, didn't you decide you didn't want that one? Uh, I don't know. I gotta catch all. But Isn't he out next week, too, sometime? Yeah. uh, He's already in at Chosen Prime. Ah. But, uh, but yeah, like, so at Big Bad and Chosen Prime, I think it's, like, $95 for star convoy and i think we'll set them for like 80 so it's it's kind of like one of those things where it's like i don't really want to pay 95 if i don't have to agreed so but i don't know we'll get um, eventually yeah yeah so we all gave a hearty recommendation for this guy yep. go get gromar and you guys gave a good recommendation for new sound wave and i gave a yeah eh, probably not so pretty, yeah. though. Pretty good. Yep. I'm going to decorate my shelf with it. Which is I what you do. I don't regret either of them. Bigger. Especially not Chromar. I, like I so said, great. again, there was a moment, with, especially with Cog, where I was like, eh, maybe this isn't very cool. I don't really like this figure. I did not properly play with it. Like, that was a foolish version of Anna in the past. Like, this is, for someone who gets stress relief from sitting down and messing with action figures for a little while, it, this is fantastic. Because I can just play around, make stupid fades out of it, and tell myself it looks cool, and then go back to whatever I'm doing. Yeah, so when we have the Argon review in probably two weeks, because I think he's coming on Wednesday for us. <laughs> So we'll do in the following week. Uh, look out for Anna's fan mode for big power dasher. All three are going to combine. A pile of all of them. First, all three are going to combine, but then all six are going to combine. Oh boy. So Anna, do you like weapon masters more than target masters? No. Target masters are the ultimate expression of accessories. Fair enough. I want That's accessories good. that I can take off the figures and have stand up and be useful. Yeah, I agree with that. I just, okay, so like you guys would not believe the number of guns I have currently on my desk that I honest to goodness don't remember who they go to because they've just been there since I opened them. And it's just a pile now. And it's like there's some Legends guns, there's some retail guns. The MP guns usually make it into plastic bags before I get confused. But they're just... I just don't care about the weapons most of the time. I, I just think it's funny. It's like if you take that statement out of context where you're like, you wouldn't believe how many guns I have on my desk. 
<laughs> that is true. That does sound terrible. I I own zero real ones. Yeah. I think you there at least aren't any on my desk. How how do you how do you think? I mean, sometimes you never know, right? I do have um I do have all four of those like weird cheap <laughs> oh the knock, gun figures. Knock off, knock off oh, yeah, yeah the knock off you guys. All these pathetic, wonderful things. <laughs> there, there you go. Let's see. These are weapon masters for dolls. I've decided because I have some really large dolls. They can hold these as target masters, so it really abuses me. There you go. That sounds awesome. So I can get my two and foot tall dolls, so. like revolver looking things. Um, so, but before we go, I wanted to mention, uh, that, uh, TF Talk Weekly, uh, just went up this, um, uh, earlier today and he has an interview with, uh, Anthony from TFU.info about the New York Comic Con show. So if you guys want to check that out, that is, uh, a pretty, pretty neat interview, uh, that he did. So, uh, again, some of the coverage from, uh, New York Comic Con. Um, so, and then also, of course, uh, we have Out to My Wallet uh, tomorrow, and then we have the regular show. We actually have, um, uh, episode 350 coming up here, so we may have something a little bit special for that. Um, so you'll have to check, uh, you know, tune in at, uh, noon on Sunday to, uh, to check that out, so. Any, any final thoughts? Before uh, we wrap, Annie, you got anything I can't wait to have new figures and not refates. Yay. Soon. You have Mirage. Even though yeah. Soundwave is totally a new figure to me. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. New, new to you. There, there you it go. It is. So. If I haven't yeah. seen it, it's new to me. Yeah, no, it definitely is. Like, I am getting a little weary of the repaints. So, but. Anyway. Kromar says bye. So. Bye, Kromar. All right. Bye.